So why is this rig no good? Why is this rig gonna cost me fish and essentially waste that time that I'm fishing on the bank? So the answer is really simple. This hook is burred over, which means it's blunt. And that means that this isn't even sharp enough to penetrate or scrape across the top of a tomato without it catching. So because that's burred right over, you can see it's barely even scratching with just the weight of the hook. It's barely even scratching the surface of that tomato. Right, so what do we do to fix this? It's really simple. You need to get yourself a hook file, okay? A hook sharpener. We need to get rid of that burr off of the hook. Now the burr on this hook's not actually that bad and to the naked eye, it was almost impossible to see. But when you run your finger across that, you can feel that burr and it's just on the inside of the eye of the hook. So all we're gonna do is take our file and we're just gonna run across that burr, always towards the point. We're just gonna do a couple of passes just to see if we can take that burr off. Now already that has made a big, big difference, but we need a couple more passes on that one. Now the last thing that you wanna do, especially when you're trying to remove a burr, is grind so much material off or put so much force on it that you actually create a burr in the opposite direction. So when I think I've taken out the majority of the burr, which I can definitely feel I have from my finger, I grab my file again and just in the opposite direction, I'm almost just using the weight of the file just to polish that point, just to ensure there's nothing gonna be catching in the opposite direction now. So if we do another little finger test, I can feel that's gripping on there already. So naturally we're not all carrying tomatoes to the bank unless you're an absolute master chef. So what have we got to test our hooks? Well, the back of your nail, that is all you need. And what we're looking for, we're looking for that hook to create some scrapes. Really what you want it to be doing, as I get it up into the camera, you want it to almost grip. So the weight of the hook is gripping into your nail. It gets a bit sticky. So that hook now is really, really sharp. So if I go back now to the tomato test and do exactly the same as what I was doing earlier, as soon as I pull that across, that's gone straight in. So now this rig is ready to use again. It's all nice and sharp. Now, many of you might have different opinions or theories on the, the mechanics of this setup of this rig, but that one works for me, and it's a really, really popular design. If any of you guys and girls are out there and you're genuinely struggling with your catches, check your hooks, because you can have hooks out there that you've reeled back in, it's burred over on the gravel or anything that's down on the substrate of that lake, and it doesn't take much to take that really fine point off there. There are also going to be times when that hook is just too far gone. If that burr has gone right over or you've sharpened the life out of it, it's time to stick on a new hook. So the next time that you go fishing, whether you're using brand new hooks out of the packet because they need checking too, or you're using a hook that you've used on a previous session or earlier that day, you need to be checking that hook every single time it gets cast out because if that's blunt, you are hindering your chances of catching.